back. This is for Roan the Gnome. Let me get my other computer running real quickly here. Just a moment. Just a little outside. Uh, looks like it's working. All right. <clears throat> Um, one thing I did notice just now is that my glasses are dirty. You would think I would notice these things before I start the stream, but no. No, no, I don't notice it until the stream is going, because I am professional. You don't get this kind of quality just from anybody, you know, as be professionality. Professionality. And I look horrible. Oh. Got a little sun earlier in the week, and uh, sunburned, and I don't look good. Eyes look bad, even. What the heck is going on? I think I'm dying, everybody, at the ripe old age of 50. Oh, God. I think it's over. Edna, I'm coming home, Edna. This is the big one. Or is it Ethel? Ethel! I'm coming home. Ow. Get the glasses on. Oh, yeah, much better. I look so much better with glasses. All right, <clears throat> enough of that BS. We are playing Lord of the Rings Online. And in this particular episode, we are in Minas Tirith. I knew it before I hit the map thing, but I just wanted to do it anyway. Minas Tirith, and we've got quests to do here in Minas Tirith. We've got some stuff to do in God, I hope we're almost done. We've been doing Minas Tirith for quite a while now. The quests go on and on and on. Let's get our free civil, 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 silver <coughs> gift and our free gold one because we get one of those once a week as well. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we got this thing. Virtue Acceleration Tome. 2,000 bonus Virtue XP. That's sweet. Accelerate your earning virtue when used. A matching bonus amount will automatically be added to any virtue XP earned until the bonus amount is depleted. So if I click over here, I go to this area. So we've got this bonus thingy down here. It's not telling me how much it is. So I'm assuming when I click this, we'll get something added to it. Yeah, it went all the way up here. Oh, bonus remaining 2,000. Oh, I see. So that since that gave me 2,000, this is bonus remaining 2,000 all the way over here. That means that I just wasted some that was right here, because there was some right there. So, because if that was added to the 2,000 I just added, this would be 2,000 and some, and it's not. So, yay! Yay for wasting that. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, see. Our silver one gave us five. We got 500 virtue from a silver. And 600 from a gold. This is good times. Good times, indeed. Compassion is at 40 of 51. That is got my physical mitigation and tactical mitigation. Let's see what this will do to it. Didn't move, did it? it? This is the one I got. I didn't see this move at all. Let me do this again. Okay, oh, 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 it moved so far that it went. Okay, all right. So we're 41 of 51 now. Okay. And for some reason, we're not even using it up here. Let me see what we actually have up here. We've got <coughs> crits. Ness, evade, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is tactical mastery, physical mastery, critical rating, so on and so forth. This one is might, physical mastery, and critical rating. Then this one is my tactical mitigation. Very good. So the physical mastery, finesse, and critical rating. Interesting. So I want to get this in there. I want to get that tactical and physical mitigation uh, put in there. I gotta find one of these that I want to turn off. Let's see, this one is 43, that's 44, that's 45, ain't that great, they're all pretty good, and 43. Oh, that sucks, okay. <clears throat> that's a lot of crit and finesse. That's a lot of finesse and crit. Huh. That one's might, physical mastery, and critical range. Alright, we're going to take that one out and put that one in its place. Somebody out there, I, I guarantee, is going, What are you doing? Oh my god! Ah! But you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. Alright, so, um, that metal smithing, what do we get? Something I already know. And this is enhancement runes. We'll just go ahead and take that, open this up, gather it up, do the hokey bokey and turn ourselves around. Let's get this thing here open. Two days left on it. Shared storage, crafting, throw this in here. 
There we are. We're kicking butt and we're taking names. That's what we're doing. Uh, browser shop. We will sell off. Nothing to repair, of course. Because we are VIP'd. <coughs> okay, um, you know what? Let's put out a tweet. Let's let people know that we are doing something. Because, you know, people like that. They, they like that sort of thing. They like to know when you're doing something. Go ahead and turn this off here. Let's grab our screen capture. New screen capture. He turned his head just as I was screen capturing. Let's do it again. There we are. Much better. Much better. All right, let's put that out on the Twitter sphere. Uh, da, 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 da. By the way, it is Ferone the Gnome at Ferone the Gnome on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. Let's play some Lord of the Rings online. Come join me at twitchtv Ferone for some. Lotro fun. And post. <clears throat> we are good. We are good. Yes, we are. Somewhat. Alright, let's bring up Twitch, uh, Twitch so that I can monitor when it's doing the um, what? Why is it trying to make me log in? Why is it doing that? I don't understand why it does that sometimes. Oh, okay, I see what it is. It's been 30 days. I gotta I gotta do this again. Give me a second here. I'm like totally totally on this guys and gals, you know. Totally 100 percent pro. Why did that do that? I, d I don't want it to do that. I want well that's the wrong thing. There's the thing I'm looking for. Alright, so we need of course, we gotta turn a numlock on. We just wasted our time there. Let's see if that got us in. Lo and behold, we are back in control. There we are. Let me get this off the screen. All this kind of good stuff. Oh boy, stream manager. There's our stream manager. Now I can see when commercials are coming up. And uh, we're good. We're good. You know, it is what it is. I'm not perfect. I'm doing the best I can, people. Come on now. All right. <clears throat> All that foolishness. Let's get on with this. Let's see. Uh, let's find a quest and do it. That sounds like fun. We got the Council of Gondor. That's blinking over this way. Looks like it's on this, the place right below this, which to get there. Oh, yes, this way. <clears throat> Howdy, howdy, howdy to everybody who's just joined us from the old Twitter sphere. I am your friendly streamer, Faron the Gnome. And we are playing The Lord of the Rings online. Yes, it is an MMO. I'm sorry you didn't know about it. You played World of Warcraft. It's not your fault. They had you under their spell for many years. Then you played every other MMO that came along that tried to be World of Warcraft and, and so on, and you missed. You missed Lord of the Rings Online. Well, I'm here to let you know it exists. It's 16 years in the making, and it is absolutely no bugs whatsoever. <laughs> Maybe a couple, but not, not a lot. It's a good game, though, I can tell you that much. Let's see what this guy's got to say. Akadon sent you. I have nothing to say to him. As the Warden of the Green, it is my duty to preserve the Townlands and, and its people. I refuse now as I refused then to call back the few scouts and guards that now defend them. They are the folk who will first face the swords and axes of the orcs. Ah, I have recovered my temper. The Council dismissed his suggestion. That made me feel rather better. I have compiled a report of, of the situation on the Pelinor fields. And I trust you to deliver it to the Thalher, however you say that word, the Warden of Laws. Many of the farms there have been ev evacuated, and this report may help their owners receive re recompense if their homes are destroyed by the orcs. Thalher can be found in the second circle of the city. Second circle, okay. So he's going to be down here. 
we can grab this mount right here and go over to soldier's tier. That's where we're headed. It's the soldier's tier. Where was that mount? It was right here, wasn't it? Nope, it was the other way. I knew that. I knew that all along it was the other way. Don't, don't fret. I was just testing all of you to see if you knew where it was at. Stable master. I need a ride to the soldier's tier. And there comes the cat! He knows that I am streaming, so it's time to attack the desk. <laughs> Come here, beautiful. Come Oh, I got you. Oh, God. Big freaking monster. I love you. God, I do. Look at, look at the people up there. Look at them. Look at them say, Hello, everybody! I am Elvis, the beautiful Maine Coon Cat. Meow, meow, hear me roar. Ruff. All right. Good boy. Thank you for showing up. All right, let's see where we got to go. <clears throat> the other way. Let's mount up. It'll be faster that way. I know I've said it a million times, I will say it another two million times. The audio in this game is superb. Superb. It is one of the best features of the game. And that's saying a lot, because there are some really good features in this game. Storytelling being the best portion. Uh, let's see, where is it we're supposed to go? It's like right, right in front of me. There he is. What is this? There's a report concerning the land holdings of folk who had to abandon their homes on the Pelennor? I see. Suppose Parthenon is doing his duty to take care of the towns townlands by preparing this report, but I think he is dreaming if he thinks the city will repay the owners of these farms for any damage the orcs inflict upon them. Thou here snorts uh, mirthlessly. He may be dreaming if he thinks there will be anyone left to repay them, Lorandon. The word out of Osgiliath is not good, and the army arrayed against us sounds vast. But I promise nothing, but I bring this report back to our door for filing. If we do survive this siege that must be coming, we may need paper to burn, and Parthenon's report may be good for that, at least. Well, that's pretty doomsy type stuff, isn't it? Uh, we talked to him. We, that thing's not there anymore. So, um, what else we got? Okay, so that takes us back to the Council of Gondor. Guard of the Citadel. That's this green area here. Guard of the Citadel. Pick up the picnic lunch for the thirsty... Oh, from the thirsties here. Okay. And where does it say it was? Fifth circle. One, two, three, four, five. That's this one here, which is this mount, or this one, and just go down from it. The uh, Master's Tier. Let's go find the Stable Master, and we'll go to the Master's Tier. <coughs> Minas Tirith has been a whole lot of run around here, there, back and forth, so on and so forth. I love it. It's beautiful. It's a very, very beautiful city. Um, very vast. But, uh, you know, at a certain point you want to move on. That's just how an MMO is. You're not the stable master. Where's the stable master? Names are not coming up very quickly as I run across here. Okay, let's look at our map. Yep, I did pass it. He's, I swear I looked over here. Oh, he's on this side. There it is. Master's tier. Master! Master! Where's the dream that I've been after? We can dismount there and go right back down because it's right down here that we're actually wanting to go to. <laughs> okay. Somewhere over here. Oh, there it is. In fact, right there. Picnic lunch. Or as Yogi Bear would say, a picnic basket. 
Okay, what do I got to do with the picnic basket? Um. Ah, all the way out here. So I need to go up that horse thing around here to that thing to go out there. Got it. <clears throat> Be there in a jiffy. Need to get me some more water. It's a long run. <clears throat> oh, look at this delicious spread, Lorandon. I see why Gandalf spoke so highly of the Thirsty Seer. It's his favorite tavern in Minas Tirith, apparently, and I can see why. Well, do not be shy, my friend. Let us dig in, and we can talk after we have taken the edges from our appetites. That is a good start, but by no means an end. I will nibble a bit while we speak, if that is all right with you. You asked Pippin how he came to the White City. Oh, Gandalf brought me here. I slept much of the way, but Shadowfax is the swiftest of his kind, and he was at a gallop for most of the journey. Why did we leave our friends behind? Well, Gandalf thought... He just thought I should see Minas Tirith, is all. The others had their own plans, and, you know, he's a wizard. Pippin awkwardly stops speaking and picks at the food in silence. You wonder at his sudden ev evasiveness and decide to have a little more of lunch. <clears throat> I wasn't entirely honest with you, Lorandon, and I am sorry for it. Gandalf did not bring me to Minas Tirith without cause, or as a simple sightseeing trip. I know you were not deceived, but it is difficult to speak of, and I am still ashamed that I might have worked some harm. Not on purpose. Gandalf called me a fool once or twice, and he was right to do so, but I would never endanger my friends on purpose. There was an artifact at Isengard. Wormtongue threw it down from the tower, intending to do some harm to either Saruman or Gandalf, and I saved it from rolling away into a pool. Gandalf claimed it soon afterward, but not soon enough. 
I found I could not stop thinking about the dark glow. I, I stole it away from the wizard when he slept and looked into it, Lorendon. I saw, I saw, Pippin trails away into silent shame and fear written upon his face. I saw a tall tower in a black sky and wheeling shapes like bats, but much larger and more frightening. And then I saw, I saw him, Lorandon. He looked at me and his voice came not to my ears, but to my mind, if that makes any sense. He asked me questions and when I did not answer, I felt searing pain. I told him I was a hobbit and his laughter was cruel. He said I would see him soon and then Gandalf broke the spell and took away the stone. The artifact was a seeing stone, a palantir, and Saruman had used it to communicate with me, with his dark master. <clears throat> Gandalf would not tell me very much about the stone, but he seemed to think we escaped a much worse fate through a lucky chance of good fortune. I, I think he was right. I did not turn my eyes from the stone, and if that horrible figure had continued his questions, I know I would have answered him. What else might he have showed me in the palantir? I cannot guess, and do not wish to. This is not the sort of conversation that suits a picnic, Lorandon. Let us clean up our food. We can speak again back at my post. Alright, talk to Peregrine. Uh, took at his post in the Citadel. So that's back down here. You know, let's go ahead and mount up <laughs> so it doesn't take a year to get down there. Only takes a half a year that way. <laughs> it's a big city. There he is. And let's get our names back up. That goes off all the time. I would like to apologize for spoiling our picnic with such frightening conversation, Lorandon. The food was delicious and the company was excellent, of course, but I should not have spoken so much about the seeing stone and what I saw within it. You assure Pippin that it did not ruin the picnic and that you are simply glad he is alright now. Well, I thank you for saying so, my friend. I will give such artifacts a wide berth from now on, I can assure you of that. There may have once been good reasons for using them, as Gandalf says, but now that there's so much trouble in... Well, you know what land I mean, and now that there's so much trouble away to the east, I dare say no one should peek into one of those stones, ever. I will get back to my duties now, Lorandon. It was nice to see you again. Okay, so finish that one. We're down to three of them. We're going to do it. We're going to actually do it. All right, so uh, that blinks over there, and that blinks over there, and this is somewhere else. So let's go over here. Let's see, where do we gotta go? I think... I think it's down the staircase and then to the left. Boom, boom, boom. I think this might be the spot. Yep.
<clears throat> Thank you very much, Lorandon. Those council resolutions will help the defenders of Minas Tirith work to safeguard the city. I will take this report from you and make sure it is put in the proper place, but I share Thalhir's belief that we should first survive the battle before thinking about the aftermath. I am sure I will see you again, friend. Take care of yourself until then. Okay, so that ended that. We are down to one question. Talk to Mi our quest, I mean, talk to Mithrandir. Okay. There you are, Lorandon. I have been looking for you. The Prince of Dal Amroth was looking for someone to undertake a mission of some danger, and I suggested that you would make the ideal candidate. Hurry down to the first circle and learn if Imrahil has already sent someone else. Okay. He is all the way down at the main gate. Alright. Got a ways to go. Stable master is here. He gets around this way. Oh yes, here we are. <coughs> we would like to go to the main gate, please. <laughs> Mithrandir said you would be happy to undertake this errand, Lorandon. I am pleased to see he was right. Oh, we get to, get to choose a helm that is light armor, medium armor, medium armor, and heavy. This is the one that we want. Actually, pretty good. And that's what it looks like. Let's put a let's put a gray on it. Okay. They're not horrible. I still don't like the way that most of the helms look in the game, but that's okay. That's just, that's me. Okay. We want to choose it for sure. Finish now. Go ahead and open up our shared, I'm sorry, our wardrobe. And we have 290 of, oh god, if I used them all up yet again. 290 of 290. Okay, I'll deal with it later. <clears throat> when Mithrandir came to the city, he told me that he passed through the north gate in the Ramas Ekor and spoke with its captain. He found Ingold su uh, supervising the repair of the wall and advised him that it came too late. Swords would be of more use than uh, trowels, 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 whatever, in this late hour. Ingold has not yet returned to the city, but I need to know the situation north of the Ramas. 
Go to the north gate to the Ramus Ekor and learn why Ingold has not yet come back. I applaud him for bracing the wall and the gate in it, but he will be of more use to Gondor, alive in Minas Tirith, than dead at the north gate. Okay. So we're being sent out to do some stuff. What do we got here, by the way? Tracery level 86. Enhancement rune. We will take that. And we have box of two essences. And I don't know why that's doing that thing over there. Uh, I want to pull this down here and I'm going to lock it so I don't get rid of it. Um, let's gather all these up. And let's head out here and see what we can find out. I'll take this moment to ask you to do me a favor if you're watching on Twitch, please hit the follow. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe and leave a like and a comment because that super, super helps when people does searches. Then head over to Twitter. Now an X used to be a little blue bird, but now it's an X. Follow me there. It's at From the Gnome. I put up screenshots and let people know what I'm doing. That said, let's get back to the game. Yeah, let's go ahead and get on our war map. We'll get there a lot faster. I need to put my phone on the charger as well. Coming back, Elvis. Love you, boy. Server is lagging really bad right now. Ooh. Let's go ahead and get off here. If I can get it to let me off the mountain. Holy crap. Where did it put me? Wow. Nowhere near where I was at. All right, let's go on. Book 4, Chapter 5. We are still working to repair the wall. I cannot return to the city just yet. I have disturbing news and it enforces my desire not to leave my post until the last possible moment. There is a second army, Lorandin. I think the second Mordor host crossed the river at Kerhandros. Though I cannot be certain, none of my scouts have made it near enough to the island to see in whose hands it lies. I wait word from my man at Krithost, <coughs> Berethant, but he has not returned yet. I do not know if he still lives. I do know that orcs, wargs, and a strange group of er Easterlings have overrun the plain of Talith Anor. It is this last that gives me the most concern. They are called Suhalar, and little is known of them. You can defeat these new foes in Telthanor. We may learn how best to face them, and I ask that you then look for Barathant in the town of Krithost. Once he returns, all of us can then return to Minas Tirith. Okay, so we need to defeat Suhalar Easterlings. I'm going to assume that that's all out over here. Yeah, it sure is. so lagged I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fight on horseback it's just not doing anything
it should be swinging and it's not. There's one hit. His health should be going down, but it's not. Big time server issues right now. He should have been dead already. This is insanity. Oh my god, seriously. Wow. I can't hit him because it, it's mounted combat. I'm, I'm initiating the uh, abilities to do it and it's just never actually doing them. No telling where I am in comparison to him on the server. Because it's so lagged, I'm probably never even near him. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god. Set still, see if he'll come to me and I'll give a hit. Nope, he came to me and hit me, but my guy never took his turn. What the hell? <laughs> How do you play this? Any dev out there want to tell me exactly how this is fair? The server is shit. Love the game. Love the storytelling. Absolutely hate the servers. server ne team needs to be replaced. I mean, I don't know what else to say, guys. I'm trying not to be mean, but this is ridiculous. Anytime you get into mounted combat, the game just goes to crap. Alright, so we will stay off of our mount <coughs> and try to fight the mounted combat on foot because servers are too lagged to actually let me take my turn in hitting when I'm on the mounted combat. We will get on an ordinary mount though, see if we can find another mob. There's one. these mounted ones come up to you to fight. That's a little different than when we were in uh, Rohan. <clears throat> see if we can find some more. We need quite a few. For uh, yeah, for Slayer Quest. Yeah, these come up and fight you. It's bizarre. They're mounted, but yet they fight like non-mounted. I'm okay with it because makes it a hell of a lot easier to kill them. But it's so vastly different than how it was in Rohan. Usually they just like come in and, and leave like a hit and run kind of pattern. And the only way you could fight them was to uh, actually be on a mount chasing them down and fighting at the same time. That was everything. Oh, we need to go up to Gritost. Let's get back on our fast mount and see if we can get to Gritost. Rithos? Something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. 
It would be awesome if all the names in this game, cities, towns, villages, people, all that, if you could like click on it like it's highlighted and click on it and it would it would pronounce it for you so you'd know how to at least pronounce it in your mind when you're you're reading stuff. Because they are, you know, typically normal sounding names. I know it's normal for uh, Tolkien, but it's not normal for like a, you know, just an English speaking person. It's These are odd sounding names. <clears throat> it's a little hard to pronounce. Here's our stable master. Get off this so I can get back to him. There we are. It's perfect. Alright, now, where is the person we gotta see? Actually, it looks like there's something right. Oh, right here. There, I I am alive, Lorandin, and I still possess the fighting spirit. I will not retreat to Minas Tirith until the very last moment, and you will not be able to convince me. <clears throat> it is futile. Much of my family evacuated Minas Tirith and went to the Vale of Tumladen among the last few wagons, but my brothers remain in the White City. I can still <coughs> slay wargs and their riders in Talithanor, and every foe I dispatch means one fewer to menace my brothers. Aid me in this. You are an adventurer and can do a great deal of good in this land beyond the Ramas. Once we have faced these threats, I give you my word that we can return to the North Gate. Okay, so he wants me to help him kill some stuff. Beat wargs or warg riders. Okay, we can do that. Are there any other quest that we can pick up? Looks like there's something over here. There he is. The formalities of introductions can be dealt with later. If Lamlor sends you, then you are surely a skilled champion. Some of the enemy has diverted from those who push towards Minas Tirith and have traversed north into Far Norian. I was planning on scouting along the Anold... An what the hell? Anoldlo. See, that's what I'm saying. That, that's so odd to me. An Anoldlo River for signs of the Rohirrim. But another matter has arisen. There are drumming sounds I keep hearing. They grow increasingly louder and seem to be coming from an area in Tardruiden, north of the Grey Wood. Would you be willing to investigate the sound and make sure that it is not an ambush? Sure. Certainly will. So let me take a look here. Uh, did these say... Yeah, 101. Okay, so we still haven't gone up in level on the, uh... On the quest. So we're good there. Where's this one at? Turn this one off. I don't see this one showing up anywhere. Hold it. Is that the thing that's like way the hell over here? Let me click on this. Yeah, it's over in the next map over. Are you kidding me, dude? Why did they do that? Alright, let's go back this way. Or actually, we can go this way and kill what we need for the warp stuff. <coughs> That's what I was talking about, about the hit and run. At least he's not going far. Got him. Alright. Let's see if we can find another one. We'll give the uh, mounted combat another shot. Maybe over here it's less laggy. We'll see. It's somewhat enjoyable when it works. Just the lag kills it a lot of times. Here's one. Oh, it's not a warp, but we can fight him nonetheless. 
Did we get to take a swing? We got to take a swing! Holy crap! We got a turn! Whoa! We got to actually fight! I'm being sarcastic. But anyway. The other one, you saw it. It just, it, I was getting nothing. I was having no chance at all on the other one. Got him, that's 404. You go turn that quest in. That was up here, wasn't it? Yeah. Which one do we want to replace? Eastern Gondor? This sounds like a winner for me. There he is. I knew he was here somewhere. You have done well, my friend. I too have slain many of our enemies, but it seems that two more cross the river from Ker Andros for each one that I defeat. This does not seem to be a battle we can win. <clears throat> we are nearing the end now. The Mordor host that pours into Talith Nanor shows no sign of slowing. I am almost ready to return to Minas Tirith, but first we need to recall two of the scouts I sent forth from Kryptos. Go to the northwest and northeast and tell Kangrel and Brunun, Brunian, something like that, that it is time for them to return to the north gate. They have done well, but now they must think of their safety. Find them quickly, Lorandin. They are sure to be in danger as the situation north of Doramus worse, uh, worsens. Defeat any enemies you come across as well. We may be readying for our retreat, but that is no reason not to strike at our enemies while we do. Uh, finished Gondor or just moved on? I finished, <coughs> I finished, uh, Minas Tirith, and it sent me out here. Let me restate that. I think I finished Minas Tirith, and it sent me out to talk to the guy at the North Gate or whatever. And he sent me over here to do stuff, because he's not going to leave until these people come back. And this person over here, you know, typical, um, quest hub thing, is now spurred out to two more quest guys that I've got to go deal with. So, yeah. I don't know if that means I've finished Gondor or not. I have no idea. For all I know, they may splinter out into five more guys, a splinter out into tw ten more guys, a splinter out into fifty more guys, just so that we can get back and the guy can say, You're done! Uh, Lord Furlong Chain? I don't recall, honestly. All I know is that in, in uh, Minas Tirith itself, I have no other quest to pick up. Does that mean that I did the Lord for long? I don't. Hold on. Hold on. That's not... Well, I, you know I'm bad with names. That's not the prince that's standing down at the gate area, is it? Because he's the one that sent me out to go find the guy at the north gate to tell him to come back. I'm getting tells, by the way, if y'all don't know why I'm sitting here seemingly talking to myself. He's partying with his friends in a tavern. But remember the two sons that were in the ta tavern? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I've done a gazillion quests in Minas Tirith. I'm almost to the point where I'd be like, that's it, I'm not going back to do that one. I had the two brothers I had to deal with, and and uh, get their father to go there, and they were beaten up on the fake uh, uh, mammoth or whatever the hell that thing's called. All right, 
You gonna come over here? Yeah, they're gonna come over here very slowly. Let's talk to Brian. What? Oh, you pain the pot. Oh, he's just gonna go back. I don't even have to do a quest for him. What do you know? That must be some other quest I have that I didn't even realize I had. I guess I do. Okay. <sighs> so let me guess this is a really long quest line that I didn't do over there. It's not part of the epic. There are three main story chains. The kids. I did the kids. Uh, the cloudy heads. Is that the uh, uh, music people? Because I did them. And... Lord Forlong. I don't remember. I just don't remember the Lord Forlong one. Is this what I'm supposed to kill? Yes. Alright, fine. You go away and I'll go fight this guy. I was going to kill him, but he didn't want to. before you can get away, sucker. I should probably mount up. Here we are. So what are you up to, Turner? Ter Terranor? Balathlorn Homestead, 71. do a quest for her either she's going to go away all right so that's everything we can head back over here and turn that quest in and see if he truly is ready to go back to the north gate or if he's just going to give me another quest just one more quest and just one more We got a bit of a ride here, so I'll just remind y'all yet again, like a broken record, if you're watching on Twitch, hit the follow. If you're over on YouTube, hit the subscribe, like, and comment, because it does help. And head over to the little bird, and follow me there at Fern the Gnome. That's it. We're moving on. This video brought to you by absolutely nobody. You found them both. I'm glad to hear it. Now, Lorendon, lead the way to the north gate in the Ramasakor. I'll be right behind you. Whoops, didn't mean to slam the microphone with my with my wall uh with my watch. Is he really following behind me or is it just one of those quest things? Yeah, it's just just a quest term. Test text. It's a thing. <laughs> Speaking is hard.
Get off your bound already. I pressed the button a long time ago. Thank you. Wow, we were super lagged. I might have just jumped again. I'm trying to click him, it won't let me. Maybe I'm supposed to hit this instead. Nope, that won't happen either. Let's try clicking him again. Already in use. There we are. So the scouts have returned, and I'm grateful for our eye of need of their weapons, as you can see. Better that? No, I have not seen yet seen him. Did he say he was coming? You cannot wait long, the Renan. If he is coming, he has to get here soon. Okay. Well, hello. Anybody else want to come? Four, three, two, one. We cannot wait any longer, Lorandon. We must fall back to Minas Tirith. Ride! Ride to the city! Okay. I would get on my war seat, but honestly, the lag tonight is too much to, to deal with that. We just want to go ahead and use an ordinary mount. I can only take so much rubber banding. Where are we supposed to go? Right in front of me, apparently. There he is. He just hadn't shown up yet. You've already returned. I did not expect to see you so soon after your departure, Lorandon. But can you tell me of the situation in Talithanor? You tell Imrahil about your encounter with the orcs, wargs, and Sahalar Easterlings that occupied Kier, Andros, and have poured into Talithanor. A second force must be a pincer. I must be a pincer attack. What the hell? It must be a pincer attack. Our enemy has been planning this for some time, and soon each host will close upon the city. It will make the triumph of Gondor all the sweeter when those plans are destroyed. All right, so we got pants here. Here's the heavy version. 
can't see them because the outfit I got on. But we're going to take them anyway. Ministry Earth will soon be encircled by our enemies. Lorandon, time is getting short. But we must fill the hours of, or minutes that remain to us with preparations that will help us survive the approaching onslaught. While you were sur uh, surveying the situation in Talithanor, I learned of a handful of folk who desire your assistance with matters both large and small. Go to them and see what they need, if you can. Mithrandir wished to speak with you at greater length about your encounter with the enemy commander in Osgiliath. Find him in the citadel atop the city. Eridor, the chief scribe of the council, was impressed with your work on his behalf and asked for you to speak with him in the Dome of the Sun, in the Sixth Circle. The council was waiting for Ingold to return to the city. Perhaps your experience beyond the Ramasekor will be of interest to them. In other council matters, the captain of the garrison has been trying to improve the morale of folk remaining in the city. Find Ekdon and see what you can do to help. Mary Swan Tavern, Tier 3. So, it looks as though I did all those quests in Minas Tirith. Tons of them. But I could go out there, come back, and get them all again. I got I got a bunch more to do again. That Minas Tirith is never going to end. I am, I am forever doomed to be in Minas Tirith for the rest of eternity. Minas Tirith. And I've got something. Uh, the Mary Swan Tavern on Tier 3. One, two, three. That is the craftsman's tier. Uh, the craftsman's tier. Here we are. for Mary Swan Tavern. To the left. Let's go see what we can find down here. There we are. Can't go in there. There it is. Never get this plaque. 
Yeah, I got it. We'll click it again. And there we were, stumbling down the darkened street, all that wine and what have you stuffed under our coats. Now what was it called, that wine, that name escapes me, and to think I drank so very much of it in those years? Ah, hold your tongue, Herr Lewin. Herr Lewin? I hear the dr a dart of... God, oh my. I hear the dart of wit upon it before you ever moved your lips. Forgetting comes of drinking, you will say, and so that wine was its own undoing. I guess correctly, do I not? <laughs> but let me think one moment. Was it? Yes. Baron's Blood, it was named. How I should like a taste of that wine now. You there, my good man. Since you are standing right at hand, be so good as to go ask old Imelden if he has got any. And so begins the long quest that I should have just pretended I'd already done. Baron's blood, Emmenden, lets out a low whistle. You might say that old stuff's a bit beneath lords such as they, but I know what they're at. It's what they drank when they were young men and went free about the city. I suppose, re re I suppose recollecting old times can recollect old thirst, eh? There's some over there among my stores. You may help yourself. Helluan catches your arm as you come up. Give that wine here, friend. Should you place it before Forlong, we others might never have a taste. This is met with hearty laughter, not least by Forlong himself. Here, friends, a glass for you, Naladir, a glass for me, yes, and one for you, Forlong, old friend, to our days of youth. And with one sip, a flood of memories. How we sat at this very table, night upon night. Our glasses full of baron's blood and old Calumbell cheese upon our plates. Champion, you have kindly furnished us with the wine. Can you find us the cheese as well? Do some old man a kindness. Oh yes, of course. I'd love to go get your cheese. Give me a moment here. Let me see where it's at. <laughs> you got any cheese? Old Calumbell? Ah, well. I don't know what to say, but that some things linger and some things fade away. I haven't had any of that cheese for a good many years. Though now that I think of it, you might try the back of the middle stores. Just up the way, you'll find all kinds of things in back there, you will. And here goes the adventure. We go to the middle stores. I'm sure somebody will say, well, I can make that for you if you would just go and... Kill some thingamajiggies and bring stuff back to me, and I'll go out there to kill them thingamajiggies, and there'll be somebody that says, well, you can't kill those thingamajiggies because we need you to go kill these guys over here and then get us some stuff to bring back. Then I'll show you where those guys are. We can get the kid thingamajiggies to take back to the thing so they can make the cheese to take back to that guy. That's how MMO quests are done. Nothing is simple. I, I can't move at all. Not sure what's going on here. I am completely and utterly stuck to the floor. Alright, well, we'll wait till the server says that we are allowed to move. And I'm out of drink. And I'm stuck here doing nothing now. 
Can I move yet? No, I cannot move. Moving is not permitted. What if I try to get on my mount? Nope, that's not permitted either. <laughs> Our latency is 50.3 milliseconds. The loss is 0.0%. Um, server just doesn't want us to move. Oh, oh, we got, we got movement! server is caught up to us. It's only five minutes behind our commands. It, look, it tried to do the mount that I tried a while ago. Reduced awareness. We are aware that the servers are having trouble. We put this notice for you so that you can be happy knowing that we know that you know that the servers don't work. Alright, so it's somewhere back here. It's the brother-in-law of Steward Denethor. And if I knew names so well, that would mean a lot to me, Dave. It would mean so much, but you know I don't remember names for any goodness whatsoever. Uh, let's see over here. Hey, the metal stores. I remember this place. I've talked to you before. I got crap in here for you once before, or from you before. What? Oh, Calibel, I, I think we might well have some farther, farther in. I'm not going back there. If you want some, you'll need to go yourself. By the way, there will be rats, so, you know, kill them while you're there. I literally did another quest for this. Denith Denethor, if the current leader of MT, the guy who tried to burn himself and Faramore in the movie... Why is my brain farting on that so badly? I to burn himself. I, I don't. I don't. It, I'm sorry. Brain is just pathetic. I'd have to go rewatch the movie and then I'd remember. The name sounds super familiar, uh, but for some reason my brain is just decided it's not going to catch on to that information right now. It's not permitted. Uh, where's my last old Callum Bell? I know all the, the Tolkien uh, diehards are probably, you know, screaming at their monitors that I don't know every single name and can't recount every single second of uh, Lord of the Rings and everything else. But I'm sorry. I'm human. But it doesn't matter anyway, because we are an hour and 13 minutes into this video and nobody five minutes of any of these YouTube videos. If there's somebody still watching on YouTube at this point, by golly, you deserve to call me names for not knowing all this stuff. Hey, look, we're, we're stuck yet again. We can't move. God almighty. We'll hit V to get on my mount, and we'll see how long it takes before he finally attempts to get on a mount. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, this is not a night for questing in Minas Tirith. It, uh, the server is going to poopy. Poopy. to the Mary Swan with the cheese. There's plenty of things going on. I mean, the whole world is in danger and we've got bad guys uh, at our doorstep and all, but give me a moment. Let me go find you some cheese and some wine. All right. Why, what have we here? It's a memory in the round, my friends. I thank you, good champion. Herluin, hand me that bread. For long, the knife. Let us put fond memory to our lips. Is there something else y'all would like me to do? I'm certain there's going to be. Oh, yes, all three of you. Is this truly the compa companion to our youthful wine? My eyes tell me so, but my tongue calls them liars. 
is, is tart or perhaps merely bitter and yet mellow or perhaps not so mellow as bland. I will confess this is not how I remembered it. No, it is quite different. We want you to go get something else. My dear friends, if we've learned something tonight is that in drink our friends stay true in taste, they may differ. Let us wash away that unfortunate taste with another drink of Baron's blood. But now we have our wine and our regrettable cheese. Finish your tell, Forlong. You had so many bottles of Baron's blood under your coats, and what then? Why, old minister... <coughs> Minaster, something like that. The last master of the Berg stumbled ac across us. It was blind luck and very bad at that. He knew at once we were the ones who'd done it, and he set to chasing us. Waving that iron cane, he went uh, about with at us most menacingly. In fact, he swung at my head and nearly took it off. To this day, there is a mark against the stone that he hit instead. Why don't you go fetch that stone for us? Ah, now you go too far. I will not allow such a wanton claim to stand. Someone must be sent. Here we go. What does that say? You men will go. You will go out on the street and show this for a braggart's lie. It was just north of the pier. For long was it not? Against an alley column? Yes. Will you go and see. Why? Yes, I'd love to. You know, evil is on our doorstep. I'm about to kill us all. But let me go find this mark for you that's obviously out here. I start to grab my drink, and then I remembered I ain't got any drink. All right, um, are you kidding me? It's all the way over there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, it's all the way over there, and we can't move. He'll get on his mount eventually. Ah, oh, my ear. Headphones really hurt my ears. They squash them into my head. There it is. He's getting on his steed finally. on the other side of the tunnel. make out the mark for long spoke of well it says that but I can't clearly make it out okay whatever uh, return to him mr. Elvis what you doing boy hmm my cat has come up and I think he's wanting me to to play with him or something. Oh, Lord. So tired. 
This is not the right spot. Anybody seen the Merry Swan? I'm looking for the Merry Swan. It should be very merry. And there should be a swan. Where am I at? I'm not there yet. Alright, I'm getting there. I have found the Merry Swan. Let's go inside. Oh, at least when I go in the Merry Swan. He doesn't make me sit there for 30 seconds to a minute before it allows me to move, so there's that. Alright. Yes, there was a mark. Mark can be seen. Are you, and you swear to it. Well, I cannot shout at the sun that it is night. It is night, can I? Ha ha. But we interrupted ourselves mid tail. Please carry on. I'm trying to mark him, it won't let me. There it goes. Well, as I was saying, <clears throat> there we were with some bottles of wine tucked in our arms, but I, for one, had also a hat, bread, some flowers, and a small rolled-up rug. We need you to go find a rug! Hold, hold, this is too much. Confess for long, for now you have embellished. Ah, I know that uh, set of the jaw. You stand by your story, do you? So be it. Friend champion, as you have not wandered off, I wonder if you will settle another quibble. Can you find such things as these and bring them here? Surely they can all be found somewhere in this circle. What did you say for long? It was a hat, some bread, some flowers, and a small rug? No. No, I cannot. Y'all need to get off your butts and go out there and fight the monsters that are about to destroy this city. To hell with y'all and your stupid little adventure. Alright. You know I'll do it anyway. But that's what somebody should say to them. What time is it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we are nigh on time for stop playing. Let's look at our map while it decides whether it wants to put us on a mount or not. We got something off to our right, something down here to our left, something here, something here, things all over the damn place. All right. Oh, oh, we found a rug, so it clearly has to be the rug that he's wanting. We found a rug, so it is the rug, right? That, that's how that works? Good lord almighty. You know, I praise the storytelling in this game. I do. I do. I, I praise the storytelling. Not all of them are winners, though. I will say that. Where's the thing I'm looking for? I, I clearly passed it. It was in here. Oh yeah, there's some flowers. So clearly that has to be the flowers he was talking about. Yes. Go this way. Why do I get the feeling? That when they made Minas Tirith, they had a serious lack of content, and therefore made quest after quest after quest after quest in the same content, so they would have things to tell people there was to do. I don't know why I feel that way, I just don't. Look, there's some bread! It's probably as old as that guy's tell. Let's take it back to him. And we need to find a hat. It's over this way somewhere. Look out below! Hat. Has anybody seen a hat that I can take? There's some old farts that are needing to see a hat. There it is. 
I know you worked hard on this hat and you want to make some money for it, but I gotta take it back to these guys that are reliving their youth. What are you doing, Elvis? He's gonna hide in the closet. He's literally digging himself into the closet. Don't climb that clothing. No. Goofy. That's all I need is a 20 plus pound cat climbing my clothes with his claws. Baby boy, don't do something to get yourself in trouble. No, don't do it. While I'm going into the swan here, I'm going to have to go see if I can help the cat. Hey buddy, what's the deal? Huh? Are you bored? Are you bored? Here, I'm trying to help you. Run away, I'm not mad at you. Having a little furry, furry kid. I love you. You're so cute. All right, I am back. <sighs> How marvelous you have brought the things! Now we will put it to the test. Can you walk from here to there and carry these? I do not even ask you to return to run. Me? Oh, he wants me to do it. And run where? Where exactly do you want me to run? Is there a spot that you would like me to go to? Uh, things will tumble from your hands. Aha! Uh -huh. I couldn't carry all those things. It just, poof, they fell out. Oh, ho, this is a mess. I am sorry, friend. For long, we see through your plans now. You fed us one truth in hopes we would swallow a lie. Tell me, even if you could bear all that is in your arms, why in Isladur's name would you? Yes, why would you? Why? To woo the heart of my Vanulus. Oh, do not give such frowns, you goats. None of us have uh, forgotten the procession of maids swooning over you here, Herlon, nor that tell of climbing the circle wall with what was her name? The one maid with the dark hair. That was an invention, uh, invention of the minstrel. Uh, uh, good lord, Othlin, these names. And what is more, I think you know it. Though I hold that she spread the tale with as much relish as the minstrel you ever did. I doubt it not, Herlorn. The maids ever fell under your cold spell. Old Othlin, though, now there was a minstrel of uncommon gifts, and a bit of, mis of a mischief maker, too, wasn't he? But who would not forgive words so sweetly sung and deftly penned? Of war he sang in kings of old, of flowery vales and shepherd's pipes, and of fair-eyed maids. You, Nell, dear, you have lived and ministereth all this time. Does he live and play still? You know not? You must learn his fate. Hey, you, go find him. My good man, may we learn, uh, lean upon your goodness once again. Will you go up into the fourth circle and learn what became of Othlin, Master Minstrel? Well, sure, I have nothing else to do. Let me go find out. It's, it's 10.15. I'm still not done with Minas Tirith. I think it's going to be another 10,000 uh, streams before I finish Minas Tirith. I thought I was getting there, but no. No, I'm I'm not. So I'm going to sit here. Let me see if I can get a chair to pop out. Yes, I can. I'm going to get a... Just grab me a chair. I'm going to sit here. Listen to the music. 
and listen to these fools talk about their youth. Where's my Baron's blood and my cheese? Mm -hmm, I ask you, where is it? That's going to do it for this particular stream. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, morning, night, or whatever time it is, wherever you are. This is Fro the Gnome, and I'm signing off. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye bye! It'd be nice if I had the right program up so I can actually hit the button after I say bye bye.